Hello. Today I have titled this Placenta Encapsulation because I am going to share another part of my upcoming motherhood journey with you. Um, <clears throat> so placenta encapsulation is a technique where the placenta is dried. There's different variations of this. There's a raw variation and um, I guess like a steamed variation. I'm not really sure exactly what the differences are. I just know that with each variation, the placenta, which is, if you're not aware, is the an organ that a woman literally creates and grows um, that attaches to her uterine wall and has a cord that goes to baby's belly button. And it is the gateway of nutrition and blood supply for the fetus. So um, it, it connects the mother and the child. It gives baby life. And um, what happens is with these different variations of encapsulation, the placenta somehow ends up in pill form and able to be easily ingested by the mother. So, um, I had heard of this. I've been following, um, different kinds of people who've expanded my mind for years now. Um, just having Instagram available has expanded my mind in so many ways. And, um, so I've heard about this and I am, you know, <clears throat> this journey in general, of me kind of dipping into the spirituality of life and um, like the unconventional ways of living and being have really led me to a much more primal place, uh, a desire to live in a more primal way, in a way that is natural wild, um, unconventional, uncivilized. A lot of times that word uncivilized comes to me. Um, <clears throat> so having said all of that, I was like, you know what? This sounds interesting. Let me learn about it. Let me see if I'm going to get it done. So I live on Long Island in New York and there is one woman who does it. And I had a conversation with her yesterday. Um, what ended up having to happen is in order for my midwives to, to like essentially give me permission or in order for it to be healthy for me to even consider ingesting my placenta after birth, um, I had to get this test, this bacterial test, which all pregnant women who are in, you know, being overseen by the medical industry is they get this test. It's called a test for group B strep. It's swab. That's a, a common flora bacteria. But <clears throat> if you have that, it can be transmitted, retransmitted. Maybe you can get infected, yada, yada, yada. And also if you do have it, then they like to give you antibiotics like during birth or right after birth or something like that, because apparently like you and baby can get infected. Um, so I tested negative for that. And uh, that made me a candidate for this placental encapsulation. So that I only found out a couple weeks ago, then I got the Rona, you know, and I just had been kind of doing my thing. So I finally reached out to this woman and got to have a conversation with her yesterday. And she is basically trained by this online school. I don't remember what her certification is called, but it's like a school of placental arts and it's all online. And um, she's certified. She's been doing this for three years, but when I looked her up, I couldn't find any information, any feedback about her, nothing. I didn't get a terrible feeling from her over the phone. But basically the benefits of this 
are of placental encapsulation, which is, it's also called placentophagy. Anything that's like, um, like a macrophage is a white blood cell that eats. Um, so in medical terminology, which all healthcare professionals have to take at some point in their prereqs, um, it breaks, it breaks up like the prefixes and I forget what the ending of words are called at this point, but like phagy means to eat. So placentophagy. So, oh my God, baby's like pushing into my rib cage right now. Um, <clears throat> so the benefits of this are not proven by research, apparently. Um, and of course, I'm still trying to figure out where to find accurate information because uh, Google sensors and DuckDuckGo used to be a uh, reliable web browser search engine that's been um, that's changed very recently. So I'm still kind of trying to navigate like this how to find information. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, in my searches, um, what I came to is that there is no, um, there is no proven research that all of this stuff is, could be benefits of placental encapsulation, but it is said that it can, um, inhibit premenstrual sorry, postpartum mood disorders, which, you know, so many women are afraid of like postpartum depression, um, that it can help balance hormones, that it can give back the women um, a ton of iron, um, B6, B12, vitamins B6 and B12, that it can um, increase the production of breast milk, um, what else? Apparently, it's common for women to lose their hair about five months postpartum, and um, it can make it so that women don't lose their hair, um, and it can give them a ton of energy. So those are like many of the reported positive benefits of it. But then the negative benefits are that they say that um, the placenta is a filter for, you know, it, it provides the baby with um, oxygenated blood. It takes the deoxygenated blood away, but it also filters out a lot of stuff. So it says that sometimes, um, you know, some of the negative things is that it can contain heavy metals. Um, that then the the mother would re-ingest and potentially go into the breast milk and feed baby. Um, that if the placental encapsulation is not done in the correct way, it can harbor bacteria that you can then ingest and pass the baby in the breast milk. Um, and then I read like that it can make some women jittery, like the caffeine and that it can make some women nauseous and just like not feel good. And then I heard that I heard an account that um, a woman kept getting UTIs. Um, and then I heard accounts that women didn't have any notice of any differences when they ingested it and they, they weren't going to do it their second time. So I've spent the past like 24 hours navigating whether or not I'm going to go through with this. And I began really desiring to um, <clears throat> but after hearing all of the accounts and everything like that, um, I have decided not to go through with it. I feel that if I was trained in this methodology, that I would go through with it because I would be doing it. I would know exactly, you know, how it was prepared and all the things but because I don't know this woman, aside from a referral from somebody I also don't know very well, 
Um, she apparently has a second kitchen in her home that she does this in. She's been doing it for three years, but I have no witness of feedback on like of anything about her. And uh, I just, I don't feel like it's um, like it's worth risking the negative side effects of infection. And I, what was the other thing? Um, I also read this thing that they did a study where of like 27 women, <sighs> excuse me, that they gave half of them a, a placebo and then they gave the other half their actual placenta and, uh, that they tested their saliva for hormones and that it there was really no change in any of the the group and so you know it's just after really just digging into research today i decided against it um and i feel very much like I, first of all, am not signing up to lose my freaking hair in five months. Like, I I truly, truly, truly believe in the power of the mind. And I have to tell you guys, like, I do not take advisement from people, whether they be regular people or um, medical professionals. Like, I take everything so lightly And I really believe in the power of like our beliefs and like we can create our reality if we're scared of something, if we believe something's going to happen, like it can, we can literally make it happen with our mind and our fear. Like it's basic law of attraction, I feel. So I am not signing up to lose my hair. I feel like the loss of hair is likely, and I think I read this, it's due to hormonal imbalance. I fixed my hormonal imbalance. Ooh, you guys saw that, right? It's my hair. I fixed my hormonal, my lifelong hormonal imbalance by cleansing my liver appropriately in various ways and likely just, you know, doing the cleanses that I've done that cleanse my digestive system. Um, So I'm not signing up for losing my hair. And uh, I also am just about to have access to this um, package that I signed up for that is going to give me so much um, like info on nourishing the body in like a more wild ancestral kind of way. And I'm so excited and I feel like it's going to benefit me and baby so much postpartum. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share about, I just want to start sharing more about, um, the stuff that I've been navigating re, um, upcoming motherhood because it has been a lot. It's been a lot like because I figured out my adult stuff and then I'm pretty sure I was kind of saying something like this yesterday, like now I'm, I'm choosing to, to bring another life in the world. And I have to, I have all these new things to navigate within the medical system that I were never even a consideration before. Um, And I'm not here to say that I know better or um, to try and make someone take on my belief system in any way, shape or form. I'm here to just share my journey and what I learned and um, something else, this woman who is going to encapsulate my placenta was going to do like a placenta print and she was going to do something with the cord and she was going to um, do like a balm with it and like a tincture with it. And so I've decided that I'm actually going to do like some piece of art with it, Um, which I'm actually surprised I'm admitting publicly, but I got to go with it, right? Um, So yeah, I'm excited to like kind of make a piece of art with it. 
and then I I am going to um, bury my placenta, which is a more traditional kind of like ancestral way of um, disposing of it and giving it back to the earth and um, stuff like that. I have done different things in that fashion. Um, I really believe that we're part of the earth and it's kind of like a circle of life. And so that feels right to me. That feels a lot more right than um, going through with with something that just, it's like, eh, I'm not 100%. A lot of times I get a like full body feeling about something. And even if it's not logical, especially it's never logical when I get the full body feeling, um, I will still push, I will still go for it because I'm like, no, this is it, you know, but I'm just not getting that, that all in like full body feeling. So, um, then when I thought about making art with it, my own art, I got a, I got a full body yes for that. So that's what it's, what's happening today. I, um, we put the car seat in my car and I'm working on packing a bag and I put away all baby clothes and finished all her laundry. And so I do have a really cool um, decorative project lined up for tomorrow with my pothos plant that was featured a few videos back. Um, and we're like really just chipping away at these things and it's just getting really really exciting we waited all last minute for this journey you know to like combine our lives and all this stuff and everything is really just coming together perfectly and i always knew that it would so it's very validating and um that's what i got today i will see you tomorrow